Ms. Canada, on behalf of the faculty and staff at Amherst Middle School, we want to say thank you and congratulations on your retirement. Uh, after your 20 years of service to Amherst County Public Schools, uh, again, we wish to thank you for that, and we know that you've uh, made a positive difference in, in the lives of many students and families that you've come across. Uh, we hope that you have a great retirement, and again, thank you for all you've done for the students of Amherst County Public Schools. Hello, I'm Tom McBride, and I'm here today to introduce you to Ms. Mary Chambers. I first met Ms. Chambers almost 20 years ago now at my daughter's birthday party of all places. My daughter and Mary's daughter were friends and she came to the birthday party. At that time I was making a decision and really trying to decide if I wanted to go into the education field. Spent the entire birthday party talking to Ms. Chambers about making that move and she gave me a lot of good, of good advice and had a lot of wisdom on the subject. Ms. Chambers began her teaching career in 1981 teaching French at Mount Allison Middle School. She stayed there until June of 83, came back in August of 84 part-time at Mount Allison, and she taught there until June of 1989. In August of 89, she then made a move up to Amherst County High School. She's been here ever since until she retired this past uh, July. And so it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you Miss Mary Chambers with her 35 years of service in Amherst County Public Schools. I will be starting Miss Lane and Clay's retirement video with some kind words from her coworker and fellow content teacher Candy McBride. Lane, I've loved teaching English with you. Your willingness to share your ideas and creative approaches helped influence the way that I taught my students over the years. More importantly, your friendship helped write my days. Your humor made me laugh often and our conversations were so encouraging. I've been prayed that your retirement will be full of fun, new experiences, adventure, and rest. I will miss you, but I'm so happy for you. Thank you for pouring into my life. Love, Candy. So this concludes 29 years of teaching, Mrs. Clay. Two of those 29 years were spent in the high school, however, the other 27 were bravely spent in the middle schools. Included in those 29 years were eight years in Norfolk, where along with her husband, Mrs. Clay founded a school that is still flourishing 25 years later. The teacher career really has come full circle for Mrs. Clay as she will spend her final day of education on June 1st presenting an award that she herself created at the school that she launched 25 years ago. Mrs. Clay, congratulations on a wonderful career and all of us here at Manelis and wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Well, good afternoon and um, this is a time of the year where we just hate to see it, but we want to congratulate you, Mrs. Crawford. Um, on a wonderful three years that you have been with Amherst County Public School um, and 21 years in education. And I personally want to thank you for all the warm times that I had when I came to your classroom um, as you was teaching and I got right in there with the students and joining the lesson, how much I learned from you of what it takes to be a good artist. Um, and we would truly miss that. But we also like the relationship that you built with our students to let them know that art can be fun and effective at the same time. We think you did a great job. We would truly miss you. Congratulations, Ms. Crawford, on your 21 years in education. Our school is truly going to miss you. We are so glad we got to know you over the last uh, three years, and we are thankful that you've been a part of our school community. Um, the way that you uh, just allowed students to express themselves through art was truly remarkable. So we send you with best wishes and, uh, and just let you know that we will miss you and that you are always welcome at Madison Heights. And please enjoy your retirement and come and see us. Take care. Take care. Good evening, members of the school board, Dr. Arnold, Central Office Administration, to everyone watching at home, and of course to our retirees. I'd first like to congratulate all retirees on their retirement and wish them nothing but the best. My retiree is Ms. Brenda Cruz, teacher at Amherst County High School for 46 years. I'm not certain that that's a record, but it's got to be pretty close. Ms. Cruz has served in several capacities as a teacher, as a coach, and as a department chair in the Social Studies Department at ACHS. 
She has spent her entire career here and has influenced many students, but also many teachers. Several teachers from her department wish to send her off in style. Miss Betty Stinson noted of Brenda Cruz's support and how she was one of a kind and that she will miss her dearly. Miss Cheryl Fales stated that she was fair and thoughtful and that she would always support teachers while always keeping students at the center of all that we did. Mr. David Tucker noted her composure and her confidence and that we'll miss her experience, her knowledge, and her leadership. Truer words could not have been spoken. I will truly miss Ms. Cruz as she has assisted me as a student, as a teacher, and now as an administrator. She's a guiding light for her students and for other teachers in this school, and we will dearly miss her. Best of luck to you in retirement, and please come back and visit. Thank you so much. Mitchell Elder. Mr. Elder was hired in August of 1997 as a computer technician. In 2001, he was promoted to the network manager and has held that position until his retirement. He gives us a total of 22 years of service. In that time, Mr. Elder dutifully served under three supervisors of technology and five superintendents. Among other projects, Mitch always took the lead during SOL testing time, which is about a month or more out of the year. And we thank you for all your years of service, Mitch. Hello, my name is Jay Sells, proud, proud principal at Amalon Elementary School. And I have the esteemed privilege of paying tribute to kindergarten teacher, Mary Gallagher. Mary's career spanned almost four decades and the best way that I know to pay homage to her is not as her supervisor or principal, but rather as a parent of one of her students. When I was first hired at Amalon, she actually was my son Jameson's kindergarten teacher. He loves school, he loves learning, and he currently thrives as one of the county's top students. No doubt, because he treated him like her own. And from day one, he was made to feel special and that lit a fire in him to be the absolute best that he can be. Mary is largely responsible for that. The beauty of it all, she not only did that for my son, but she also did that for every child every day. And in true Mary Gallagher fashion, hail to the Redskins. Congratulations on your retirement. Hello. My name is Ryan White, Assistant Principal at Amherst County High School, and I'm coming today to recognize Ms. Martha Greenwood. Ms. Greenwood was hired by Amherst County Public Schools in 2000 as a substitute, and in 2002 was hired on as an instructional assistant, uh, starting at Amherst Middle School and carrying on through 2016. Uh, at that point, she moved up to the high school and continued working at the high school until time of retirement. So all in all, uh, 17 years experience in Amherst County Public Schools. In the one year that I was here as assistant principal, things that I remember and just seeing is how much that she helped the students that, uh, that she worked with. Uh, those students would not have been able to have the uh, type of education possible without her. And so I know the families of those students and the students really appreciate all the work that you have done. And I know at Amherst County Public Schools, we have appreciated all the work that you have done as well. I hope retirement treats you well and have a great one. I'm going to begin Ms. Fernanda Heck's video with a few words from her coworker and dear friend Jan Rose. First, I'd like to say I can speak for a few others while I say it. Clearly, you were only thinking of yourself when you made this decision. I was trying to think of how best to describe what you mean to me. You are my Louise to my Thelma. You definitely are the quick-witted, sarcastic one, but in all the right ways. I thank you for being you and for your unwavering friendship. There's so much I want to say, but I don't want to incriminate us. And that's followed with a crying, laughing emoji. Just know that I love you, and you're going to be horribly missed. Love, Jan. Ms. Heck has been at this thing called teaching for 41 years with a few in the high school, a few in elementary school, but the bulk in the middle school. She came to Manelis in August of 2013 and has given Amherst County Public School seven great years of service. I got to know Fernanda first as a fellow teacher and I can tell you firsthand that she was responsible for about half the paper used wherever she worked. 
She was relentless on the copier, but because she was willing to make sure that her students had access to every possible resource she, she could get her hands on. The SEC plans on taking a little time off to go see her kids and granddaughter in Northern Virginia before possibly doing some substitute teaching. Nelson wishes you nothing but the best, Miss Heck. Thank you. I will begin Mrs. Pamela Hubbard's video with a few remarks from her colleague and friend Aaron Tomlin. I've known Pam way before ever taking on a position at Manalis Middle School and has been a joy working with her. Her dedication to her core students is unparalleled and the hard work she has put into building the CORE program is reflected in the many, many accolades her core students have won during her, her time at Manalis Middle School. She is a close friend and colleague and I'm going to really miss having her next door to the band room. Ms. Hubbard was hired in August of 1996 for a split music position for Amelon and Madison Heights Elementary School. In August of 2001, Ms. Hubbard transferred to Manelson Middle School and has been there until the decision to retire. She has 24 years of service with Amherst County Public Schools. Ms. Hubbard never ceased to amaze me with the product that she would put on the stage with her students when they would perform. I was always blown away. I won't lie, I took advantage of having her in the building. Anytime a family member of mine would have a birthday, I would sneak down there to her class and have them sing happy birthday. It was always a pleasant surprise to my family member. Manelson wishes you nothing but the best moving forward, Mrs. Hubbard. Thank you. Hi, I'm Pam Hubbard, the choral director of Manelson Middle School. I'm retiring this year after 40 years of teaching. 25 of those years have been taught in Amherst County of which 20 of those years have been at Manelison Middle School. Little did I know that I was going to be retiring in such an interesting year. Uh, it's been disappointing in some ways too. Because of the closure due to the pandemic, eighth grade, we didn't get to do our production of The Wizard of Oz and we didn't get to do King's Dominion, but I hope you will remember the fun that we had along the way. I've thoroughly enjoyed the time I've taught in Amherst County. Although I'm excited about this new journey called retirement, I will never forget the road from which I came and I will never forget the amazing people that I've encountered along the way. Students of Amherst County, friends, colleagues, administration, I will always remember the many smiles that you've put on my face. I hope the passion I feel for music has enriched the lives of the students in some way because the students of Amherst County have certainly enriched my life in many ways. I feel blessed and I'm honored to have been part of your lives. Hello, this is Mr. Adam and I'm the principal of Central Elementary School. I have the great honor and privilege to introduce Melanie Hyman. Uh, Ms. Hyman, she was hired um, back in August of 1992 as a special education teacher with her assignment being split between Amherst County High School and Temperance Elementary School. She transferred to Manalis Middle School for the 1993-94 uh, school year and stayed until June of 1999. Ms. Hyman returned in 2007 to Manalis Middle School, which was her home, until her request for a transfer to Central Elementary School in August of 2011-2012 school year. Ms. Hyman has been there until her retirement, but she served as child study chair for many years for her employment, and she retires with 21 years of service to Amherst County Public Schools. Uh, so Ms. Hyman, I'm going to tell you I was really sad the day that you uh, let me know that you're going to be retiring, um, but I wish you the best of luck. Um, you definitely deserve it. Um, I look forward to hearing all about your travel plans when it's safe to do so um, and uh, make sure that you send me some pictures that I, that I can be a little jealous of you. Um, but I got some time to my retirement anyway. Um, so thank you for what you do and good luck in your next adventure. Ms. Jones, Ms. Jones, congratulations on making it to retirement. You have meant so much to this community, 41 years of service. Um, you have taught a ton of kids. I mean, a ton. And I found a couple that you have taught before, and I just thought you would love to hear from them. Ms. Jones, congratulations on a wonderful career. Thank you so much, not only for being a teacher in the building for so long, but for touching so many lives. Those of us that had you as a teacher and that worked with you as a colleague, we can speak volumes about your influence over our lives, and we just greatly appreciate your time here. Ms. Jones, we truly do appreciate everything you've meant to Amherst County. 
and all you've done for all of our students through the years. Some students, it was really easy to be good to. Others, was a little more challenging. <laughs> but we truly appreciate all that you've done over your years of service. We're truly going to miss you. Yes, Miss Jones, you are irreplaceable, and we definitely will miss you. Thank you so much for being amazing. Although I never had the opportunity to have you as a teacher, I had the esteemed pleasure of having you as a colleague. And you always exemplify professionalism, respect, and excellence as an educator. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy retirement because you definitely deserve it. Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Engel, and I am the assistant principal here at Amalon Elementary School. And it is my privilege today to say farewell to Mrs. Nancy Kirshner, our library media specialist. She has been in Amherst County Public Schools for several years and served as the library media specialist here at Amalon specifically. And I thought, what better place to acknowledge her than in the library where she spent most of her time. She was always available for students to check out books. There was open checkout times and students, she gave students that desire of wanting to uh, read and the love of reading making sure that they had books on their on their reading levels, as well as assisting with the teachers and making sure that the teachers had in their hands resources that went along with the standards of learning that were taught. So I just wanted to say, Nancy, great job. You kept a uh, library neat and clean and it was an inviting place for the students to come. You ran a tight ship in here, but the, the students knew what to expect when they came to the library. And we also appreciate your help with the spelling bee over the past several years and many other things that you contributed to Amalon Elementary. So we are going to miss you greatly. So on behalf of everyone here at Amalon, we would like to say goodbye, but we would also like to say you're welcome back to read to the students anytime you wish. Thank you. Hi, this, hi, this is a Mr. Adam. I'm the principal of Central Elementary School. I also get the privilege or have the privilege of introducing Teresa Maddox. Uh, Teresa Maddox was hired back in August of 2017 as a first grade teacher and she retires with three years of service to Amherst County Public Schools. So here's the crazy thing about Teresa. She actually came out of retirement. She, was, she missed teaching so much that she had to get back into the grind of it. And that's how she ended up here at Central. We are very thankful for that. Um, and I truly wonder if you really are done, Mrs. Maddox. Um, but if you ever want to sub, um, please come to Central. Mr. Gallagher, I know you're watching this. Make sure that we get her on that sub list as soon as possible. Because um, I know Mrs. Maddox is going to want to come back to Central. Um, but on a serious note, I'm really going to miss you, Mrs. Maddox. I'm going to miss you making fun of me um, in terms of how I speak. And I know I'm going to miss poking fun of you, how you speak, since you speak with a very intense uh, southern accent. Um, whenever I hear somebody say tennis shoes, I'm going to think, Mrs. Maddox, that's, she's going to use the word tennis shoes instead of sneakers. Um, but I guess I still got to get used to that being down here in Virginia. Um, so enjoy your retirement. I'm going to miss having you around at Central. Um, but I know you're going to come back, right? Hello, Ms. McClellan. I uh, hope you're doing well. We do miss you. Uh, however, we do want to wish you uh, great success in your retirement. Uh, and again, the 20 years of service that you provided, uh, we greatly appreciate that. Your time at Amherst Middle School uh, has been uh, great. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know you. Uh, each day when I come in to greet you, uh, you always uh, comment on my dress and, and who I look like that particular day. Uh, one day I would come in looking like a doctor. The next day I would come in looking like a business person. Uh, the next day it would be a dentist. However, you never told me uh, in all those days I came in the cafeteria, you never told me that I looked like a principal. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, you are an amazing lady. Thank you so much for all you've done for Amherst County. We wish you the very best uh, in your retirement. And again, on behalf of the faculty and staff at Amherst Middle School, thank you so much. And it has been a pleasure knowing you and I can't wait to, uh, to continue that relationship. Thank you, ma'am. and letting you know ahead of time I did not write the bio I'm about to read for Miss Lynette Miles it was provided to me by Kim Goins her dear friend and guidance counselor at Manelson Middle School 
As a child growing up in Philadelphia, then in Nelson County, Lynette Miles did not have many experiences in sports. It was not until her physical education teachers, Leroy Witt and Mr. Clark in 5th and 6th grades, introduced her to sports that she started to develop that interest. They would enjoy field day competitions among the elementary schools and she was able to showcase her skills in a variety of activities. Opportunities for girls in interscholastic sports were just coming into the picture in the 1970s. Her middle school and physical education teacher Carolyn Fleming provided the girls with a limited intramural program after school to supplement their class time in the gym and on the playing field. Her parents were reluctant to grant permission for her participating in sports in high school, but her coach was able to convince them of their potential and they graciously relented. She got her first taste of interscholastic competition at Nelson County High School where she was a member of the class of 1974. There she was a leader on the basketball team coached by Anna Lee Green and Connie Nima. Her successful experiences in basketball opened new opportunities and she continued to enjoy high school sports in the spring with participation in both softball and track. She was an award-winning athlete in basketball and in softball. As a student then at Avery College, she continued to play basketball under coach Rhonda Fleming. She was cited as the most improved player and later she received the award for most points scored. With a degree in physical education, Miles started with a substituting job in the spring of 1979 at Manelson Junior High. She has now become a permanent fixture and institution at the school and she has amassed enviable coaching records in four sports. Volleyball where she has 278 wins and 74 losses, basketball 320 wins and 155 losses, softball 6 wins 4 losses, and track 60 wins 30 losses in one tie. Beginning just at that time, more athletic opportunities were being afforded girls even at the middle school level. Miles has been able to provide her teams with leadership to give hundreds of early teenage girls a positive and fulfilling experience. Numerous former players have gone on to play at the college level. Grateful for the leadership afforded to her by physical education teachers and coaches, she is inspired to pass on the same experiences and values to her girls. To work hard, to develop to their highest potential, and to take pride in who they are and what they can do and in reaching for high goals in order that they are successful in life. She feels that the Lord has blessed her in this journey as she concludes her career. Career highlights, Manelson Middle School, she has been a physical education teacher for 42 years, the athletic director for 15 years, she has coached volleyball for 29 years, and basketball for 41 years, softball for one year, and track for 29 years. Ms. Miles, we will miss you. We wish you nothing but the best from Manelson. Thank you. My name is Rhonda Campbell, Supervisor of Transportation. When I was asked to speak regarding the retirement of this young lady, it weighed on my heart. Unfortunately, I was only able to spend a year working with her before she decided to ready to park her bus forever. It is my honor and privilege to work along someone who has dedicated over 49 years of service to Amherst County Transportation Department. She began her contracted employment in October of 1970. She has seen many changes over the years from administration to her students but always accepting with a beautiful, uplifting smile. When, Lisa, when Miss Louise decided to retire, her amazing family decided to host her a surprise party. It was so touching to listen to the amazing stories shared by her family and former students. One particular story stands out to me from one of her grandchildren. Apparently, all the grandchildren would congregate at Miss Louise's in the mornings before school and everyone knew the exact time her bus would be leaving that parking spot. And you needed to be there and ready to go. But if you missed her bus leaving, you better bet you better be at that school before she got there. No matter how you got there, you better be there when she arrived. She apparently ran a very tight bus. Miss Louise will always reach out to her students to make a personal connection to them and their families. She is very well respected and appreciated, but most of all, she is missed. On behalf of Amherst County Public Schools, I would like to thank you for your wonderful years of service, your support, your friendship, but most of all, thank you for caring for our students every day. May God bless you and keep you safe. We will miss you and I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's it! Oh. Hello, Mr. Rose. <clears throat> this is your Madison High Elementary group. Uh, we're just here to wish you well, and so I'm going to let Mr. Hutchison go first share his part, then I have a few words to say afterwards. Mr. Rose, first we want to congratulate you on your retirement. 
We are so absolutely thankful that you've been a part of our school community for the past 13 years. We absolutely wish you the best and hope you'll stop by and visit us on a regular basis. And now to add my part, <clears throat> it's been, I've been here six years and I want to wish you on completing your 13th year here uh, with Amherst County Public Schools. Uh, especially after doing your 20 years in the services, that really means a lot. But one thing I noticed when working with you is your relationship that you have with the kids. Uh, they really love you, they really enjoy talking to you, and your building relationship and in interaction with them uh, showed. Uh, if you look at the slide, we have a picture of uh, when we were having an outdoors activity where you were with a student, basically just, just, just chatting with that student. In the cafeteria, you did the same thing. I remember once when a student was crying because they were upset <clears throat> with something they had for lunch and how you sat right next to that student and cheered that student up until they actually completed their lunch. That means a lot. It goes to show that personal relationship that you have, not just with students, but with people. Uh, the faculty and staff here would truly miss you. We enjoy, like Mrs. Cranmore said, that I can do attitude and I can help you in any way that I can. We really appreciate that. We will definitely miss that. And as you will see, we have several um, things we will present to you later to show our appreciation for all the hard work that you've done. And one more thing that I would have to say, and talking to Ms. Rose, uh, you have quite a honeydew list uh, once you retire. So I hope you enjoy your retirement. And I know you would make Mrs. Rose happy with that honeydew list being completed. You have plenty of time to do it. We will truly miss you. You are truly a friend and keep building those positive relationships. From Madison High Elementary School faculty, staff, and students, thank you so much. Hi, Mr. Rose. I just want to wish you the best in your retirement years and thank you so much for all of the help you've given me in the last few years here at school and your hard work and your chipper attitude. Always can do and I really appreciate it. We're going to be missing you a lot. Take care. Hello, my name is Ryan White. I'm an assistant principal at Amherst County High School, and I have the honor to recognize Miss Diane Sandage. Uh, Miss Sandage was hired in August of 1989 as an instructional assistant and has 30 years experience at Amherst County Public Schools. In that time, I know that she has been able to touch many and many of lives, both students and faculty and staff alike. Uh, me being a first year administrator, I did get a shortened version of that, but uh, some of the memories I do have of Miss Sandage is, one, I am an early riser and I know that she is too. When I would get here, there would only be one or two cars in the parking lot and one of them would be hers for sure. Uh, the other thing I remember from Miss Sandage is that no matter what kind of day you were having, uh, she would be coming down the hallway and she would be giving you that thumbs up to let you know everything is all right. So all that positivity and all that energy always came out every day. So I know that I've enjoyed my time working here at Amherst County with her, and I hope that she has enjoyed her longevity and time at Amherst County as well. And again, I know that there are many and many lives that she touched along the way. So congratulations over time. Hello, I'm Rob Arnold, Superintendent of Amherst County Public Schools, and it is my privilege to honor the retirement of Ms. Patty Schrader. Patty is a lifelong resident of Amherst County, a proud graduate of Amherst County High School. In 1978, she began working here at the school administration office and has been here ever since. In 2002, she began her responsibilities as secretary to the superintendent. Uh, she served for Dr. John Walker, Brian Ratliff, Steve Nichols and myself. Um, I walked into the central office two years ago um, to an office that was undergoing an enormous amount of change. Almost half the staff had had uh, retired or had left prior to me arriving. And, and Patty served as that calm, consistent presence that 
always gave you the feeling that everything was going to be okay. And, and for that, I am forever grateful. Uh, Patty will be missed here in Amherst County. Um, she provided that, that experience and knowledge of all things Amherst. Uh, and she also will be missed here in this office for providing uh, a festive atmosphere with her, her really creative talents, and uh, that will be missed as well. Patty is a, a loving wife and mother and an adoring grandmother of two beautiful boys. Uh, I know that those young men are going to keep her busy in her retirement, but my hope for Patty is that she finds some rest and relaxation because after 41 years in education, uh, you certainly deserve that. Hi everyone, hope you all are doing well. I want to take this opportunity to thank the folks of Amherst County Public Schools for all of the support that you have given me throughout my career. In 1978, I never dreamed that when I accepted a position in the Amherst County Public Schools that I it would become such a huge part of my life. I've had the pleasure of making some lifelong friends and some of those friends have become more like family to me. I have enjoyed my working years, but it's now time for me to move on to the next phase of my life, and that's to spend more time with my family and to enjoy and be Nana to two of the most precious blessings that the Lord has given me. I want to send out a special thanks to all of those wonderful people who were so supportive of me over the years and who allowed me to hang in there for 41 years. Have a good evening and stay safe. Hi, this is Tom McBride, Assistant Principal at Amherst County High School, and I just want to introduce to you in his retirement, Mr. Cleveland Tinsley. Uh, Mr. Tinsley would come in every day, very reliable, very dependable, always did anything that you ever asked him to do, and usually when you ask him to do it, he would always say all right and have a smile on his face as he went about doing it. Uh, Mr. Tinsley did a good job for us here at Amherst, and we certainly do miss him. He joined Amherst County High School's custodial staff in August of 2012. He retired this past December after eight years of service. And so I'd just like to wish a very happy retirement to Mr. Cleveland Tinsley. Ms. White, congratulations to you on your retirement. After 45 years of service, uh, we, we want to wish you the very best in, in the future and uh, future endeavors that, you're, that you plan on taking on. Um, you know, 40, 45 years, that's quite amazing. Uh, that's an amazing accomplishment from an amazing person. Uh, you have touched many, many families and lives. Uh, you've helped many students uh, overcome obstacles. Uh, we greatly appreciate that, ma'am. We will definitely miss you, and we want to wish you the very best. Please make sure that you take the time to come by and visit us from, from time to time. And uh, again, uh, very best on your retirement. Good evening. My name is Cynthia White, and I have been employed with Amherst County Schools for 45 years. All of those years have been here at Amherst Middle. I've seen the school go from Amherst Junior High to what is now today Amherst Middle School. I've had the pleasure of meeting many parents and students throughout the years and some return to visit me today. Over the years, I've worked with many amazing people and forged many long lasting relationships and friendships. My time at Amherst Middle School has been an unforgettable one filled with many great memories. I've enjoyed my tenure here, and best wishes to each and every one of you, and stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Good evening, I'm William Wells, and I'm here to recognize Ms. Linda Wilcher. Ms. Wilcher's been an employee of Amherst County Public Schools for 24 years. She began in 1996 at Amherst County High School, and she's been here at the school board office since 2002. During her tenure, she has served as a secretary to four principals, four superintendents, and five assistant superintendents. I want to especially thank her for working with me in my last two years and helping me out as I integrated from the high school 
up here to the central office in my new role as assistant superintendent. She's been a great employee to Amherst County Public Schools and we miss by everyone here. We wish her the best in her retirement and it's well deserved and also wish her the best of time with her garden and her flowers and that's where she spent most of her time probably in retirement is working with her garden and flowers and spending time with her children and grandchildren. So Linda, we wish you the best. Please stay in touch and have a great retirement. Hi, I'm Linda. I moved here from Ohio to join the Amherst County Public Schools family in July 1995. I started my new job in the guidance office at the high school and then was moved to the main office also at the high school. My final destination was when I came to the school board office in 2002. I have worked under five superintendents, four principals, and multiple supervisors. I have established friendships not only here at SAO, but in all the schools. My job goal was to do a job well done and to be happy when I come to work every day and to treat others kindly in the way that I would want them to treat me. At this new stage of life, I plan to keep busy with my five grandchildren, my mother, my flower beds, and to follow God's will and to keep serving Him. It's been a great privilege and honor to have worked for the Amherst County Public Schools for 24 years. Thank you. Pat Wilkinson, congratulations on making it to retirement. A 40-year career here at Amherst County Public Schools is phenomenal, something I can't even imagine doing myself. I mean, you came in here day in and day out, made sure that the books were in order, making sure that every single penny that came through these doors accounted for and people were held accountable. Now uh, thank you for keeping all of us principals out of jail and just doing an amazing job with the bookkeeping even from when I was a teacher messing up purchase orders and messing up my receipt books losing my receipt book but founding finding my receipt book. Just thank you so much for being so kind all the time but also being firm and making sure that we had everything in order and straight so that the kids here in Amherst County High School and throughout the county had what they needed financially to be able to be successful. Uh, thank you for supporting our teachers. Thank you for just being such an amazing employee in all your years of service. We, we definitely will miss you for sure, but we want you to have nothing but peace and rest and happiness for your retirement. Thank you so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And have an amazing, amazing retirement. That's it for now. And go Lancers. Go back. You begin by saying that you have left a big imprint at Temperance Elementary School. Your nurturing ways with our kindergarten students have left such a strong foundation and a love of learning and school for them. You are patient and you always see the strengths in our children, which is so valuable for their self-confidence and self-worth. You are also very creative. Some of our favorite things that you do with your students um, are one is I love the birthday hats that you create for them on their special day so they can wear them and be recognized by the whole school. Well, we've also enjoyed the many beautiful flower arrangements that you've made for us over the years for our fifth grade graduations and all of our end of year celebrations. Thank you so much. And I know all the kids are going to miss your hugs, and we're all going to miss your wonderful gingerbread houses. Miss Williams, I, as a uh, parent, would like to thank you before the footprint mats. I still have mine. I put it out every year at Christmas. Thank you. We'll miss you. Though I didn't know you for very long, you always made an effort to say hi and ask me how I was doing whenever you saw me. And as a first year teacher, that meant a lot to me. Well, I'll miss you. I loved coming in at the end of the day and eating up on that stone soup. Oh my, look at the time! Mm. <laughs> no more orange paint. Like the farmer always said, plant your now, dig your later. Everybody. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>